We're now going to look at Ziggy Ansah from BYU. This is the Poinciada Bowl against San Diego State. And Ziggy plays a few techniques. He'll play on the outside, he'll play on the inside. Uh, I've watched a number of his games, and I've seen mock drafts have him as high as 5, I believe. Most in the 7 to 10 range. And uh, the lowest I think I've actually seen him go is 19th um, in a few mock drafts. So I'm quite interested to see what, why is there such a disparity between a few people and him? And why some believe he's a top pick to still a very good player, but dropping down to the latter parts of the first round. So... <clears throat> Let's take a look at Ziggy Ansah. We'll be checking out the first half. And uh, like I said, he's going to be playing on the outside, but he's playing a lot of inside as well. One thing he doesn't do is he does not shoot his hands. And to me, that is a huge negative of his. He's kind of could cut down there a little bit. But uh, a lot of times I see him just shoulder into guys and I know he doesn't have a lot of snaps there's his hands a little bit but it still gets kind of taken down because he doesn't actually get true leverage and you know the, there's not really a lot of attacking here with him now he gets interception which is nice and dandy of him but uh, you know he's not really doing anything he kind of gets knocked off path and Dare I say he quits on a play. He's not giving you anything after the first few, after the initial surge. And you see that a lot with him. And see his, let's look at this too. This is an issue I have of his, um, which bothers me. Look at his feet. There's no stagger. Even the defensive tackles next to him have staggered legs. There's no stagger. He's even. He's flat-footed. He's both his feet are just flat on the ground. It looks like he has a soft stance where his hand really isn't even in the ground. It's just kind of there, and he just doesn't get much. Now, yeah, he ends up slowing down the running back, but against the NFL tackle or guard, he just gets. He'll get swallowed alive. Here's him at nose. They move him around. He just allows himself to be swallowed by these offensive linemen. So you don't get to see a whole lot of, you know, there's no counter moves off of his initial rush. He has the idea, he comes off the ball, he rushes, but there's no rip, there's no swim. There's, I'm going to lower my shoulder and get into you. I, I'm, you know, I, I, I don't know what even this is here. It's almost like he tries to slide tackle like he's playing football. Or, uh, football. You know, uh, I think they show it here. And it's kind of like... I, I don't know where his mind goes. Is he trick or fall? I mean... I don't even know what that was. <laughs> you know, I guess I can give him the benefit of down to say he slipped. His head goes down. He's spinning. I, I do have a lot of issue with what I'm seeing in this game with him. Um, let's see if we can, you know, he doesn't get pushed back. That's a positive. He's not getting thrown backwards. He's not getting knocked into the second level. He's not throwing off his linebackers. He's not giving a whole lot of help either by getting into the back and getting penetration. Uh, I think I th see one major win of his in this game. That comes in the second half. Um... You know, Z just, uh, again, he, he gives you an initial push. He gets a little knockback and then just quits. He, he bails, spins. You know, it's just not enough for me to sit there and ooh and ah at. Um, again, I think he's the type of player that NFL scouts see, and they see talent and potential, but uh, I don't, to me, I like to see technique. That's me. Um. But hey, when you're paying guys millions of dollars, you're hoping that you're getting the next Reggie White or Deacon Jones, not just uh, 
you know, John Abraham. And God forbid they're Derek Harvey. So, you know, you just got to hope. His feet are staggered a little bit more there. It looks like he's willing to come off the ball a little bit more. He's shown a little bit more aggressiveness. He's shooting his hands a little better. Maybe the first quarter after a long layoff, you know, this is a ball game, three, four weeks since his last game. But now he, this is, I was going to say, before the play even starts, you can look at him. Feet are flat to the ground. Head's almost looking down. Hand bare looks like it's in. There's no weight on this hand right now. And I can tell you right now, you're getting nothing out of him on this play. And I would say that's almost less than nothing. So I don't know if he was tired or, you know, or just lazy. He kind of gets blown back a little bit here. There's not a whole lot for him to do. So, that whole thing is not getting blown back. Well, there's one play where he does. <sighs> Not engaged, but he shoots his hands and look what happens. He's actually in the backfield. You know, now he's swallowed up by not shooting his hands. He gets in the backfield a little bit, but he can easily be blocked. Now he gets a little engagement, and he spins out. I don't like the spinning out. Again, no counter moves. I don't like players that look for the knockdown. I want players that want to go knock down the quarterback, not knock down passes. If you can't get there, that's fine. I get it. But he wasn't. It wasn't even like he was trying to get there. He just kind of gave up on his rush. This is a good play from him. He gets underneath the pads. He's able to actually show a little pass rush here. <laughs> gets under you know there's not there's that this but that's the issue I have right there he has potential for a sack here there's there's potential for a sack and what does he do his hands go up don't worry about the pump fake I get it you want to knock down a pass but you're three yards away from a quarterback two yards away from a quarterback go and hit him don't let him get off Scott Frey he was still close enough that there wouldn't be a rough in the pass or penalty so, alright, that was uh, the last play I wanted to look at. That's Ezekiel Ansa, Ansa Ziggy. Is his nickname? Like I said, he'll be a potentially early round pick, maybe a middle round pick, or a middle first round pick. Um, you know, there's a few places he can go. I uh, personally, I think this he's a player that Jets will be looking at. But, you know, that's uh, for another time, another place. Zigiansa. Um, the next few players that I have to look at are two players in particular, Tyler Efert from Notre Dame and Jonathan Cooper from North Carolina. More names to be added to that list. Uh, now that this little mini-series is done for the day, likely, please hit subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter. Uh, Twitch TV, I put live stuff up um, that I do live, like my pre-look at my pre-stuff that I look at before I sit down and do these videos. And uh, zonereads.wordpress.com is where you'll find written articles from me and Nath. So uh, check that stuff out. It's uh, hopefully some high-level football stuff for those that are interested in it. And hey, draft right around the corner. Enjoy it. So hopefully these were helpful, and uh, we'll get back on the horse soon with this. So appreciate you tuning in. Bye.